for the first time for Daniel Vittori in this form of the game. And Kyle Mills celebrating his 100th international today in coloured clothing. But to the grass is quite thick, I thought, Simon, and so the seam may just grab on him. Well, here we go. First ball for Mills, and it's a no ball to start with. Overstepping. So I uh, picks up a single. Oh, look at that. That's a long way over. That's not the start for a man who was searching for some confidence. We have to change the field. A short mid wicket in and a short catching. Fine leg. Goes through mid wicket. And it's a quick outfield. It might not go all the way. Jacob Oram's after it. And they'll pick up a comfortable two. And Docker gets off the mark. So 10 millimetres of grass, it's lightning quick, it really is, it looks beautiful out here today. Another no ball, Kyle Mills struggling. Another free hit, now these are cheap runs and runs that New Zealand and Kyle Mills can ill afford to give away, and again that's a long way over. So another free hit for Tendulkar, where does Mills bowl it? Tries to get it full, Tendulkar goes square, and that is a lightning quick, four runs. That is lightning quick, it's also brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from the little master. Yeah. Got him. straight through him. A rash shot from Verinda Sewak, and Kyle Mills has picked up the wicket. He's ripped the middle stump out of the ground give him some confidence that he desperately needs. Well, it's the completely wrong option here. And so act to go square of the wicket. The ball before this, he had played it down the ground, same ball, two runs off the back foot with the straight bat. This time he tried to pick up the boundary by going square and it's cost him because the bounce wasn't there. He's out for three, 15 for one. Oh, what a start for New Zealand now. Gautam Gambier is the new man at the crease for India. So good start to the second over for Kyle Mills. It's wide and that is put away. Just lovely timing from Tendulkar. Looking for swing, none there, four. Well, they say half volley on leg stump. Any batsman at this level will put it away and they should, but some just put it away a little bit better than others. Clipped away by Gambier this time, and that'll run away for four. No chance for Grant Elliott. He won't pick it up. Six overs gone here now, and 39 for one. That's six. First one of the day, is it? No, might have just landed inside. Only about a foot inside to Tendulkar. Maybe he read that one. Maybe he read Kyle Mills' line of thinking because he picked the length perfectly. He did pick it early, it's a, a slog, sweet shot, so he must have seen it. He, he's the greatest batsman for picking balls up late. He's picked it up early and he's just gone with whatever spin or bounce there is and with a clean swing of the bat. That's an edge and gone, Butler strikes. Gambia looking to play that favoured little dab shot, gets it horribly wrong. Gambia getting the scratch. Lashin taking a good catch, good length from Butler, good line. Pete McGlashan does the work. Helmets removed from McGlashan. Gordon Gambier's removed as well for 15 of 27 balls. India 65 for two. 65 for two brings the classy Yuvraj Singh to the crease, averaging 37.3, very good strike rate. Over a very long career already and still many years to come, you would assume. Oh, that's a shot and a half to get off the mark. It really is a heck of a good cover drive. Taking a look at you'd like to build that up. Another good ball, but I oh, admire that. And he did, you've read this thing. Straight out of the middle. Ah, oh, spanking stroke for four. Glorious. Tendulkar on 48. That may be his 50. Let's wait for the call. 
It is four runs. So Tindalka moves to 52, and he is looking ominous. Yes. Uh, two half centuries back to back, and uh, I think this is the better one. Positive from the outset. Uh, he's looked solid. Shot selection has been good. And easy pickings here. This was drifting on the leg stump. All he needed was to get some bat on it. This time he goes again. This one's in the air. I think he just hit the seaman. Yeah, it's a mile up there. That's what he was looking for. And that's why he's a genuine match winner. Now Butler will feel a little disappointed, but it's not that bad a delivery. This again, he's picked up the length so quickly. Just get the feeling that Yuvraj Singh is uh, making or beginning to make a statement here. That'll be four, will it? Yes, it will. It was a valiant effort out there, but it was hit so well. It was hit so well that Elliot really couldn't do anything about it. Yes, it was hit well. It was hit really hard here by Yuvraj Singh and into the ground. So he gets the spin and spins away from Elliot. Just feel Elliot was a little too close. He's got to be right on the boundary in that area. At the most five yards in. Get a pass. Oh. You can really appreciate a straight drive nowadays. Beautiful stroke. To change his bowling attack and Salvi comes back. Yeah, very interesting. Very early. And the piece to be taking your batting power play. In the power play over Smithy, you can restrict the, restrict the batting side to six and over. You've done pretty well. How many? Yeah, um, six of one ball. That's massive too. You see, it's horribly wrong in Napier with low full tosses. And again in this over, Tim Salvey, who's playing his first game in the series, is overstepping, over delivering. That's a big free hit. That is so in the arc. So hitting your mark, but that's beautiful batting. That is a superb shot off a pretty good ball. Oh, there is nothing wrong with this delivery at all. Huge hit! Huge hit! Has he got it far enough? He got the elevation and the length, yes. Into the stand. And that's 50 for Yuvraj Singh. What a treat. This has taken an age to come down out of the sky. It has gone so high. I think we're going to see 320. Here's Ryder. Oh, yep. It's gone again. It's gone 40 rows back. 40 rows. Bad ball. Cops the treatment. And gets away with just four. Waist high, full toss. Yeah, he's knocked the bales off here, Jesse Ryder. He's got him too close. And he's hit his hand on the stumps. He should have held on to it, should have tried to hold on to it. Easy thing to say, I know. And you're trying to bowl the ball, but he knocked the bales off on his way through. And it just would have unsettled the ball. You have a look here. He knocks him off. But he did it with his hip. No, I'm pretty sure it sounded like the top of the ball or his hand okay. hit the bales. So much quality. Again, Oram hits the mark. Brilliant stuff. Well, the bat's gone. The bat's broken. I'll have it. <laughs> I'll have it. I'll have it. It's, it's missing a whole corner. Bring it up here. I'll have it. A whole corner of that bat has flown off. Look at that. And his toes sore as well. <laughs> oh, he's belted into his toe. It's a br that's, that is a Yorker. That's a corker Yorker. It breaks the bat, breaks the toe, and they don't get a run. Very quickly, got rid of the pads, got rid of the boots. He saw Yuvraj sink. This won't help the time matters at all. Let's have a look at this. The ball straight into the side of his big toe. Yeah, right into the side of his big toe. That hurts. Now what? After the break, can he find that horrible nagging length again? Go, 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 go! Uh, Euphrates gets him behind point. Gato! No. He can't get it. The spearing dive. So he is uh, limping a wee bit, Euphrates thing. But it has not affected the timing. 
and just the placement as well. He knows where the gaps are. If it's short, he can go onside, he can go offside. He waited for it. There's a bit of turn. The placement and the timing is away. So 10 off 5 now. Jacob Borum 65. Off the power play with one ball remaining. And that's straight down the ground for one bounce for Broom did his best, but he couldn't power it back in field. Dooley, I'll leave you to do the maths on the power play. Oh, this is gone as well. Just over the top, but it's six more. Takes him up to 87. He is not missing a trick. Two, 200 is up now. Magnificent innings comes to an end. He gets a little inside edge and has to go. First thought, good catch. Watch a lot of balls disappear to the boundary, over the boundary. And it is a good catch. It's an excellent catch. Inside edge. Great concentration. Brutal innings from Uvraj. Seeing that number 87. Just 59 balls. It's 203 for three. One, one day international batsman in the world. How's now, boys? Come on, how's your squeeze there? Comes to the middle, MS Doney, and is in the stage set. Oh! And he's beaten the first ball. Well, they got rid of the world's number three, and now they've got a bowl at the world's number one. Go, go, go. Oh, edged. Oh, that's unlucky for Patel. He's completely done, Doney, there. And Doney will pick up four. Well placed and well stopped. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, damn me. You've done all the hard work, Guptill. <laughs> In the end, it just dribbles off his foot and over the line. Catch! Straight up. This is very, very high. But the man's up at mid off. <laughs> it's long as well. Tell to Donnie. Oh, what's this one go? It's nearly an elbow. supporters around us they're on their feet they fancy their chances when that one went up in the air there it is it's one day international 43 for Sachin and Dolker. it's one day international number one in New Zealand congratulations to Sachin and Dolker. it's been an exhibition of batsmanship he has been nothing short of spectacular Strike rate close to 100. He played the supporting act to Yubraj Singh. I think that will change as well. Fantastic style, class. What more you can say? It's been said all around the world, and we've just been lucky enough, I guess, to see it here today. That's big. How about the timing? Is it good enough? You bet it is. That's over the top of the side screen for six more. Tendulkar is into the act. Look out. Well, he certainly is now that he's got his hundred. He's going to go for everything now, using his feet. And even though he didn't time it, still got the distance. Well, India will be eyeing a score in excess of 370 here. Still a little shimmy outside leg stump. It was just enough to throw Patel off and Tendulkar just caresses it behind point. No protection and another 50 partnership. Well, he's got the license now to really break free because Dhoni is in control at the other end, still batting to come. And India sends an opportunity here to close this one-day series against uh, New Zealand. Oh, it's gone. It's too clever. Way too clever from Tendulka, just a boundary, and I say just a boundary. It wasn't far away from six. Over the top and down. Down, 
So that was a catching option to get rid of uh, the great 10 Dulker, Elliot the culprit. Well, he was looking to clear third man. Just using the pace of the bowler. You can see deliberately opening the face of the, the blade. The angle of the bat was such as well. Difficult catch. Oh, magnificent. Just poetry. Never left the top of the carpet. Well, you've seen some shots today that have got the stamp of brutal force in them. But this is class. This is picking a spot. this out no it's not he's got enough of it he has got enough of it over a widish long off and another six 150 up for Sachin Tendulkar one in innings placement along the ground it's been fantastic Well, I don't know what I've seen a better one than that. That is just incredible. 44 gone here at AMI, 328 for three. So that uh, six, which <laughs> it all happened a little too quickly, but my interesting Tony has bought up 50 of 45 deliveries, two sixes and three fours. And got to finish it off. Oh, that's a no ball. It slipped out. It was a slow delivery. And Tedok is really hurt here. He's really, really struggling. He tried to pull that away. It was very slow. Only 97k. So it was like a Vittori arm ball. Just really slipped out. And Tedok went to pull it away. And he's just he's really hurting. Cover. What a lovely cricket shot. All in the timing again, six more. It's not comfortable though. I guess that's starting or could become a concern for India. The skipper's at the other end. Be enjoying it, but I think you'll be looking at the rest of the series, especially with the way he's reeled back there after hitting that ball. Easily over cover for six. So the Indian team physio. Out with Sachin Tendulkar. He's going to go. He's going to leave the field. Dhoni has just signalled to the dressing room that Rainer will be the new man to come in. But we'll just let this crowd stand and applaud. Truly amazing innings from Sachin Tendulkar as he walks off AMI Stadium. So Suresh Rana is the new man. Yeah, to 35, strike rate eight, 85. He'll be on strike to Tim Southey. And no time to play himself in, but a free license, I'm sure, given to him by the skipper. So 163 retired. Sachin Tendulkar off 133 balls. 16 fours, five sixes, but here's Rainer with his first ball. Straight away he's into it. It's up one to long on. Come on, come, come on back, Dan. You can have it. You can have this job. It's high in the air. And that will be half a dozen more. Suresh so Rainer into the action. He's had regulation two balls to get himself in. Let's bring up 350. Why not hit another six? No worries. So McGlashan up 
to the stumps now. Oh, it goes again. It goes again, and that's half a dozen more. Fifteen sixes in the innings now. Oh, it's a terrific game of cricket. And that's a pretty good shot. was on earlier talking about the pitch maybe being a little bit inconsistent you said it was a belter Ian Smith bagged you did he really a little a little well if you're gonna be bagged I suppose you might as well be bagged by the best I've seen the best today Six more. Boy, that's terrific time. And it's not the biggest boundary. But that's raise your bat, Tim Southey. Unfortunately for you, young man, you've just bought up your hundred. In his last over. None for a hundred. Chance for McGlashan. Will he get to it? It's a hard one. He's got it. It bounced. It took a little juggle and a bounce, but Peter McGlashan managed to hold on to it. Terrific start to the Kyle Mills over. Just the one from it so far, and he's now picked up the key wicket of MS Dhoni. Top edge, very high in the air. Oh, very high in the air. Plenty of time to get under a difficulty. He had to turn. Gave it the pop up. He was able to snatch it. Tony for 68. India 382 for four. Maybe not. There's six. Maybe not, Stephen. <laughs> that did not go much higher off the ground than where it hit the grandstand. Went like a traceable. In Ireland, and now New Zealand have conceded 18 sixes. So it's the first time against a test playing nation. So 400's out the door, Stephen, unless there's a no ball. But can India set a new record for the most sixes? No, they can't. Pick up a single, Yusuf Patan won't bother running himself out. If they can't win with 392, they won't win with 393. He says, I'm not going to run myself out just for one extra run when we've got that many on the board. Thank you very much. 50 overs up here for India. What a magnificent innings we have seen. 392 for four. Sawag went early. He was out for three. Sachin Tendulkar carried the innings. Gambia went out cheaply. But I think the innings that turned it for India. Yuvraj Singh with 87 from 60 deliveries. Magnificent partnership with Tendulkar. And then Dhoni continued the good work with 68. Tendulkar went, retired hurt, 163. What a fantastic innings that was. And Suresh Raina, 38 from 18. It's just a case of belief uh, in a situation like this because... Uh, it's not often you'll chase down such a big score. So you can throw caution to the winds early on. And if it comes off, who knows? Anything can happen. But here's Zaheer. Right, it goes after the first one. Because he was looking to bowl the shorter one, but it didn't get up. It's dealt with very, very well from Ryder. He's away. Slightly slower and he punches off the back foot. That's a nice stroke. This will test the outfield. No, no test at all. Four for the minute. It was hit. An excellent shot to end the over. Nice timing. Tempted slower delivery, but he picked it up early. Smash! Oh, he's hit that well, Ryder. 
That's the best shot he's played up to now. Nice sound when the ball hit uh, the willow. This was uh, just ease through the offside for four. A good over. 34 for no wicket. Oh, he's got that. He's got that very well. That's a terrific shot. It's a shot arm jab from uh, Ryder. in the slot, middle and leg. Bang! But if he hits it that well, doesn't matter where your offside fielders are, you pick up four. Uh, we've seen some uh, shots uh, bludgeon through the offside today, but I don't think anyone's been hit harder than this. He caught width on that occasion. <laughs> Just past Harbhajan, and it'll race away for four. I don't think it'll haul it back. That would be a dive too far. So 50 up for New Zealand in just the ninth over. McCallum charges for the first time tonight, and he gets away with it. It's beautifully through the covers. Dropped. A simple one from Dhoni. The skipper's put down Jesse Ryder. Oh that might cost that was just so easy for Dhoni he looked like he took it without taking it it was just incredibly easy for him to catch just can't understand how he got that so badly wrong never looked like catching it in the end even getting a hand on and that's now applying to catches like that fractionally shot he's put it away into the stands that's what he want he goes again and just clears deep mid wicket consecutive sixes here for Ryder and Harbhajan Singh being put under pressure straight away Six. Beautifully put away. 50 for McCullum. And the captain standing up to the test. Oh, this is just really good batting. We talked about how good it was to watch the Indian batting display. We're seeing something just as good. Quality aplenty from these two New Zealand openers. Classic shot. Again, striking it beautifully through the offside rider. McCallum goes again, he goes big. Dragged down by Yuvraj Singh, and that is into the construction site once again. Really powerfully hit. Seven sixes now, four for Ryder, three for McCallum. And McCallum 
one must go. Well, it's gone by a long way, which just shows you the the level of uh, miscommunication here because he's one of the quickest in the world between the stump sprint and McCullum, and he's well shy. So I'm not sure whether he was stuck there. He had a late start, was a very good piece of work. A good bit from Donia. McCullum is three yards out. Ryan of the fieldsman who's been guilty of a couple of misfields may have changed the course of this match momentarily. McCullum goes for a brilliant 71. It's won 66 for one. 99, Jesse Ryder. 100 for Jesse Ryder. 100 from 72 balls. He's come to the party, all right. And he's come to the party in belligerent style. And it's ironical, with his most delicate touch of the whole innings, he brings up his 100. He's been brute force. Brute force. Can you believe it? India have lifted their game several notches in the park. They were so sleepy. And now they're wide awake to every opportunity. It's Yuvraj Singh with a flat, almost underarm throw. And Dhoni palms it onto the stumps. Or did he knock the stumps off with his hand? Let's have a close look at this. This is a big moment. Did the ball ever hit the stumps? That angle we don't know. Certainly his hand hits the stumps. We need another angle to work out whether the ball makes contact with the stumps. Yes, I think it did. I think it did, didn't it? It changed, it changed direction off the stump. The ball changed direction quite markedly off the stump. But I think the gloves I'd also have gone through. I think that's fair enough, and Ross Taylor will be hugely disappointed. He's out for 779 for two. Yeah. Martin Guptill is the new player, and off the mark, first ball. Sixpence. I'm not sure about this one. No, my feeling is this is sliding down as well. Hasn't straightened enough. It was an arm ball. That's going on to miss leg stump quite comfortably. That is a very poor decision. Martin Guptill's annoyed. He's out for one. 182 for three. Grant Elliott. Good average. Early days in his career. Chip in the air, chip in the air, this could be out too, right is gone, oh it's all turning south for the Black Caps now. Well he didn't hit it Jesse Ryder, he didn't back himself to hit it the distance, he just sort of half hit it and I just wonder whether it, the fact that he's lost so many partners has changed his mindset. It turned a wee bit, but not enough to really alter the shot. And he just punched it. He never hit it with any sort of flourish at all. And it was very comfortable for Zahir Khan. They were dropping those earlier. India, not now. They are firmly on top. It's 188 for four. Ryder goes for a magnificent 105. Right, Jacob Oram comes to the middle after 27 overs. And the first job for him is to avoid a hat-trick of Golden Ducks. He's had two bats against India, the two Golden Ducks. Yeah. It's just the sheer weight of runs, Ravi, isn't it? You've got to sustain a period of attack for so long. When mistakes do occur that we saw with the runouts, 
It's not just the fact you look on the board, four down as the 200 comes up, three down, two down. It's the amount of balls it then takes the players to get in, and we're seeing it now. There's balls getting chewed up where, as you say, the spinners can get through some overs. sense that uh, they have a chance to close out this one-day series. It's a big blow, just what New Zealand didn't need. It's a big blow because the big man's out. Just get it through. Took the bottom of the bat. Or just 11 balls. Seven runs, 203 for five. Just get the feeling that uh, the batting power play will have to be taken because New Zealand need a shift in momentum. Now, with power play being taken, uh, both these batsmen will have no choice but to look to try and attack. India would sense opportunities here to uh, pick up wickets. Smack Yoko right on target. That's why he was brought back. He's the experienced fast bowler with the goods. And here he delivers for India. New Zealand now, one would have to say, just losing their way. It's no wonder he's been good for the last 15 months during this period, because that's a ripper. It's just what you want during these stages. There's no chance of hitting that for six, four. In fact, you do well just to keep it out. Elliot gone for 18. New Zealand, 217 for six. So Ian Butler has come out to the centre with a runner. No. Chance of a run out. <laughs> well, there's a runner actually running for uh, Ian Butler. Martin Guptill was the man. So he got all excited thinking that uh, the batsman had not taken a start. He didn't even know that's what he's saying. I didn't even know he had come with a runner. <laughs> He was so excited. Another clean up job. This game finishing in a hurry now. And New Zealand folding like a house of cards at the moment. Two wickets and three balls. Well, he was excited, thought he had his man ball before. Excitement because he's got him now. Just creep through, I think. If fair to say, a lot lower than Pete McGlashan thought. His first bat he's gone for seven. He's on now two, 18 for seven. So 218 for seven. Uh, Kyle Mills comes out to the middle. And uh, it's still Zahir. Two wickets in this over. Praveen Kumar now. And four. Heck of a shot. Welcome to the crease, says Ian Butler. He can hit the ball very hard, Ian Butler. He's pretty good with the bat. You've raged to finish off now. That's a very good blow from Mills. And both these batsmen out here can hit the ball very well, and they hit it straight when they do go. It was right in the slot for Mills. He was looking for just a little bit of width, and something's right up there. And he belted that a mile. Butler gets a hold of this one, does he or not? There's a chance in the outfield. I think it's put down. Oh, the signal six. Well, this tees the be all the way until the dying seconds, and uh, it's hit the the padding on the full there. Yeah, he pulled out late. He knew that was going. 
just could not get there. Bottom clean. He tried to go mid-wicket again. Ian Butler and Yuvraj Singh got it straight enough. And that did the job. Ian Butler goes a short, pretty fiery innings for him. And is off stump unearthed. Might need a new handle in that bat right now. 24 is out for 251 for eight. Well, he's a noted hitter as Tim Southey. He's one of the faster 50s in test cricket in New Zealand. That was basically on debut against England. McLean Park and Napier, anything like that would be welcome. How's he gone? Well, he started with a boundary. Sweet shot. Wasn't far from six. He picked that up very nicely. Of course, uh, in his test debut, he had a, a better day with the ball than he's had here today. Maybe he can uh, put a smile on his face with uh, a good display of hitting late in this game. Oh, that's big hit, but not far enough. Save eggs. Oh, no, yes, he is. I thought he was going to, he was lining it up, save egg, but it had just too much carry in the end. Maybe the southerly got behind it. But at one stage, I thought save egg had it under control. And that'll be four more. It continues. Fantastic cricket shot. We talk so much about the way that the Indian players have given themselves room and hit through the offside with freedom. Well, Kyle Mills showed that he can do it as good as anyone. That's a very big step away to leg stump, and Zahir Khan followed him, or tried to follow him into his pads, but to hit it through extra cover like that, it's as good as many. Try to repeat it, just about got bowled, but many that we've seen today, I mean, just the memory of the batting. Patel because he's bowling the length full enough to get hit down the ground and that's where New Zealand are aiming don't think you really need two players behind point on the offside 300 up for New Zealand it's been a brave fight and still so far to go and there he's got it over backward point for four bad delivery and the two players who were there were powerless anyway Good stuff. It's good stuff. Way too full. Mills just swings and it slices away, but uh, an unprotected part of the boundary. He has not given up hope of a miracle here. He's gone to 45 from just 24 balls. And the bowlers are having their say with bat in hand. And it's good stuff. Right in the slot, a half volley. And Mills is just dealing to tell him this over. And he's putting him to all parts. Mills on strike again. That's six. Six again, right in the slot. And Patel has got some real problems. He was smiling not that long ago. He's saying to the fielders, get right on the rope. Look, he's, he's motioning to get on the rope, but I don't know. Yeah, it was wider than as well, and Mills has a brilliant 50. And how well has he struck this ball? He's peppered that offside field, but he has hit the ball so cleanly. A flurry of sixes. decision to make here in terms of height. Mills is going nowhere for the moment. I think Gary Bax is intimating he thought it was above waist height and Rudy Kurtzson might not have picked up on the signal. Ravi. I think uh, Mills has done the right thing here. Yeah. I'm just saying that. 
always look dodgy. And you can say the benefit of the doubt has gone in favour of the batsman. So that's an extra run. No doubt about that. But uh, Manif Patel has just completely lost the plot here. He's completely lost it. He had lost it in the last over. I'm sure Dhoni would have thought two, three, four times before giving him the ball. That's the end of him. He's been removed from the bowling crease. Sensation here. Sensation. He has been removed from the bowling crease for two height no balls and one over. I'm not sure New Zealand want to see the back of him. Exactly. I think it might just walk in favour of India. Well, yeah. I'd be saying keep him on because he just, he has completely lost it mentally. He's saying I have to take him off. Foz Mills are saying please don't. So now Mark Ravi, let's look at him. Who knows if Patel Mars will get out of there. I don't think anyone wants to talk to him at the moment. And this is Yusuf Patan who's uh, an off spinner. result for India. Flat taking the pace out of the game but this is the reason why he has to go. The first one was waist high that was debated about but I think that was a fair enough call but absolutely no doubt about the second one. None at all. Shocker. situation and Patan has picked up the wicket he's got rid of the dangerous Kyle Mills who has fought fought for all he's worth yes the Indians can breathe a sigh of relief uh, the partnership finally broken but uh, an excellent innings coming to an end here from uh, Mills just finds Zahir Khan and you can see the frustration uh, on the face of the Indians Zahir is delighted he bangs the ball into the turf he realized that Eng New Zealand had tested India here with this partnership. Mills goes for 54. 334 for 9. 334 for 9. Last man in. Jet and Patel. Southie on strike. Straight up in the air. And that's the end of the game. It took one ball for Kumar in his ninth over to have the last save for India. In the end, a very conclusive victory you would say on paper 58 runs the margin 726 runs scored in the day it's been an absolute thriller but Indians batting prowess earlier in the day proved just too much for a pretty brave New Zealand side. Yes fantastic entertainment uh, for the crowd that has turned up almost uh, close to 800 runs scored here today but uh, I tell you what the end result 58 runs really doesn't tell you the true story. India batted magnificently in reaching uh, that score of 392. Then New Zealand came out hard and at 166 for no loss one would have thought this game will uh, go all the way down to the wire. Then a flurry of wickets falling.